Look at this. Wow. Woo! <laughs> wow, yeah, that looks so cool. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new world record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. Click the subscribe button to follow our adventure around the world. See you later! Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 23. No, <laughs> day number 25, <laughs> I think. Who knows? <laughs> Anyway, we had a really, really nice uh, night, a peaceful night in front of the monastery here in Spain. Yeah, we saw some monks this morning coming out for a little <laughs> morning walk, kind of like, hola, hola. <laughs> yeah, it was really nice. The only problem was that this time my mattress deflated. I think one of the patches that we've put on mm. is sort of like slightly come off. Yes. So again, another repair is needed. <laughs> But this is the ever-evolving, ever-changing situation, you know? <laughs> so a tour bus has arrived to come and look at the monastery. So we think that's probably our cue to hit the road. So uh, let, me, let me show you where we're going to head today. Okay, so we are here in Navarra in northern Spain still. But now we are going to be making our way southwest down into the center, moving towards the capital. But we won't be reaching Madrid today. Um, today we are going to be aiming to camp again in a beautiful natural park mountain area. We found a couple of options on Ayo Valanda. So we're just going to sort of head down towards Madrid and then uh, see what spot is suitable for us to camp. So we have about 160 miles today, so it's time to hit the road. Let's go! It's significantly less rainy than yesterday, which I'm happy about. I'm more than happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> Still have my rain clothes on though. Well, you never know, hey? You never know. Yeah, and it's still just a little bit too cold. I mean, it is Spain after all. We're supposed to uh, have endless sunshine. <laughs> Be sweaty and too hot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, when are we going to get too hot? That's what I want to know. So anyway, first stop for us is Lidl. <laughs> <laughs> because of course, this is just a little tour of Europe <laughs> and is pretty much the only place that we stock up on our essentials. But there's one in a town called Soria and Soria is, according to the routing, 84 miles away. So we're going to head over to Soria get ourselves some food for dinner, some supplies. Let's make, start making our way a bit south, shall we? Yes. Are all the um, straps looking good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything on the tank bag is looking good. Is the rear box? I didn't check, did you close the rear box? Mm. Yeah, may maybe we have to close it actually. Or just <laughs> the, the... Okay, there we go. I was about to look for my seatbelt. <laughs> I secure myself on you. Exactly, which is useless. Because if I fly off, you'll fly off too. Exactly. Let's fly off together! <laughs> look, look, oh, look! Oh, nice! Some stalks. Cool. Cool. Oh my god, guess what? We just hit 2,000 miles! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> We have just entered La Rioja, the famous wine region. And you can see already, it is packed to the brim with vineyards. Vineyards everywhere. Yeah, to be part of this denomination, to be a vineyard within here, is really, really valuable. So you can imagine nearly every square inch of land in La Rioja that they can make a vineyard, they will make a vineyard. Yeah, wow, look at that. forest all around us wow 
It's air temperature at the moment, according to the bike, is 10 degrees. This is colder than the day we left England. We've traveled like 2,000 miles south and it's like the same temperature, if not even a little bit colder. <laughs> Spain, that is really disappointing. Come on, let's bring on some sunshine, shall we? It's so cold. I just saw a sign that said that we just reached 1170 meters above sea level. So we're at pretty high altitude here, freezing my fingers. It's windy. <laughs> it's so, so windy up on wow. these planes. The bike is being literally physically moved over to the left. Yes. Oh my God. And Ducky is going crazy too. He oh, looks like he's, he's not <laughs> like they'll be heading off soon. Yeah, he's gonna take off. <laughs> Little. Yes. Yoo we made it to Soria. <laughs> Happy and alive. <laughs> Just did 84 miles. Oh. Wow. It's time to warm up. We are just leaving Soria. We've had a beautiful lunch of tortilla. We filled up full petrol. We filled up all of our water. So now we're totally refueled. Thanks, Soria. <laughs> <laughs> we are ready to get out there and do some wild camping in the wild. I've rooted us with adventure routing, 86 miles to go, and then we can check out this uh, natural park area. There's actually quite a lot more forest in the center north of Spain where we are now than I was actually expecting. I thought it was just going to be mostly desert plains, but look, it's quite a lot of trees. And now the Garmin Adventure routing is uh, taking us off on some nice little windy smaller roads. And uh, there's really not that much traffic on these roads either. Very, very nice, open, it's beautiful. Dear family, one, two, three. Oh, amazing. 
There are even more hiding there. Over there in the grass. Yeah, you see the signs everywhere for like watch out for the deer, but we didn't see any deer until now. Wow. They look really nice and small. I think there's uh, just baby deers or like small ish deers. Beautiful. Yeah, we're getting right up into these awesome mountains now. Amazing. Yeah, now we're really getting into the heart of wild Spain. <laughs> We just passed another high point here, 1,360 meters, Alto La Caracosa. And you can see we're uh, pretty high up at the moment. Yeah, look at that. Spectacular. Wow. What a view. Yeah, and now we have to wind our way down, <laughs> down, down. Wow. Yeah, what a mountain road though. Wow. The Garmin Adventure routing doing its job. <laughs> Yeah, it's always nice to come off the highway and experience the small little roads through the mountains, actually. Yeah, the smaller the better, really. Mm -hmm. It allows you to connect closer to what's around you, I think, and go slower and it's just everything. it again <laughs> I'm sure we'll have other mountain ranges to go through but yeah no it's really nice that's uh, some of the nicest parts so far that we've been to I think here we go we're entering the park Sierra Norte de Guadalajara Bienvenidos, Park Natural. Let's head in. Whew. Yes. Off the main road into the national park on the dirt road. Uh, beautiful. Quite a few potholes, but it's okay. <laughs> they said on the sign that the sheep living with. Um, with a dock now? Yeah, yeah. They're putting mastiffs in with the flocks of sheep to protect them because there's also wolves here in the park. Iberian wolves. How cool is that? <laughs> I would actually love to see a wolf. It's a very true wild place.
So we decided to head back to this little area here because uh, this is the camping area and um, as usual they say that camping is not permitted inside anywhere else apparently so we are just going to find ourselves a nice spot up on the grass here look at this tons of flat spots to camp <laughs> what do you reckon like uh something like this over by these trees yeah okay let's get ourselves set up the camp is set up here bumblebee home everything's ready lavi's just gonna be starting on the dinner <laughs> yeah so this is actually uh, an area where you are allowed to camp although we're not sure if you're allowed to camp with a tent but at least you're allowed to camp with a camper van in this area so we thought well we should be okay um, there's literally no one around anyway we're the only ones camping here so I think it's going to be absolutely fine for tonight I think it's going to be quite a peaceful night out here in the National Park it's beautiful so in the end we did 168 miles so we're definitely ready to have a nice good rest and a nice good wild camp here in the nature. By the way, if you guys didn't see before, this t-shirt here, Overlander t-shirt, we're actually selling this t-shirt on Etsy. So if you would like to buy one for yourself, then head to the store. It's in the link in the description. Uh, we would very much appreciate it. It would pay for a tank of fuel or a warm meal or a night of accommodation for us. So we would really appreciate it. So, but we really hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, then give us a thumbs up, um, comment below, subscribe, and we will see you next time.